Hi, welcome to Unifine. This is Simba Zhao. Today, I'm going to do a pre-delivery inspection for one of our customers. He cannot come to the site because of the COVID situation. The two machines behind me are a vacuum tray dryers. Now they are ready to ship. Before the shipping, we have done the trial assembly in advance to show our customer. Firstly, in this way, it could avoid some parts shortage during the packing. Secondly, it could be a good guidance for the end user to do the installation later when they get the cargo. Here we go. The two vacuum tray dryers were made of one of our customers in pharmaceutical industry. So contact parts of the dryers are made of stainless steel 316 other parts are made of 304. At the same time, the two dryers are going to do the drying process under a vacuum environment up to minus 100 MPa. Then the housing must be strong enough to bear such vacuum force. The plate used for the housing is very thick and strong to assure its firmness. From the appearance, we can see the door, door hinge and locking latch are very very strong. All related temperature sensors and meters had been added for monitoring the drying process. Let's open the door and have a look at the inside structure. We can see every layer is fixed via three clamps so as that each layer could be dismounted easily for cleaning and service purpose. Also what could be seen is that there is the rotating spray nozzle on each layer. That's part of the CIP system. Apart from the rotating nozzle, there is the fixed spray nozzle at every corner to spray some dead corners as much as possible. Totally, there are 21 pieces spray huts. Don't forget, the water pressure required is around 2.4 kg. The drying shelf also could be completely removed out for thorough cleaning and servicing. There are 24 pieces of trees to carry products for drying. All trees are made of stainless steel 316. A, flex a flexible temperature sensor is there to monitor the product temperature during drying process. The two vacuum tree dryers are wall integration structure. The doors and the control cabin would be in the clean room, while other parts such as the two condensers, the heat exchanger, the vacuum pump set, all related pipes and tanks, and the drainage pipes would be in the equipment room to comply with the GMP standard. Both the control box and all motors are exploring proof type to meet the explosive atmosphere from the control box touch screen. All work processes could be controlled remotely and all data of drying process such as chamber temperature, vacuum level, product temperature could be monitored and stored with USB interface for data export. For installation, we have labeled every part when doing the trial assembly. The end user could do the installation according to every part label as easy as making a toy. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe us and share. Next time, we are going to share a video of IBC Blender. See you in next video.